All is set for Bishop Charles Collins and Daku's seven years anniversary of being enthroned and consecrated as the seventh bishop of Madi West Nile Diocese in a Thanksgiving ceremony which will bring all stakeholders, mission partners, politicians, the business fraternity and other denominations and friends to give Thanksgiving offerings and raise funds towards the construction of the Diocesan Golden Jubilee Office Block a faith-based project. Since the laying of the foundation stone for the Mardi West Nile Diocese Golden Jubilee Office Block by the Archbishop Emeritus Dr. Henry Luke Orombi on the 23rd of February 2020, the construction of the proposed four-storage Golden Jubilee Office Block has been underway with the total cost estimated to be 7.8 billion shillings. During the press briefing at Emmanuel Cathedral located in Mvara, Arua City, Tio William Taylor Oda, the project manager for the construction of the Diocesan Golden Jubilee Office Block, stated that due to funding challenges, they decided to adopt a skeleton execution of the contract in order to determine how independent the structure is. It is a proposed four-storied building. When we talk of four-storied building, it means that the ground floor is not part of the figure four. And literally, it means that there are five floors, inclusive of the ground floor. The overall project cost estimated, which we will be looking for, will be 7 billion 841 million 935 992 Uganda ceilings. But because of the challenges of funding, we decided to adopt a piecemeal execution of this contract. Along the way, we decided to adopt a skeleton. The reason of adopting these are one, funding challenges. We are not having all the funding at a go. Then two, in the terms of engineering and structural engineering, it is good to see how independent this building is standing structurally. Richard Anguio, the chairperson of the organizing committee for the Thanksgiving and mega fundraising of the Golden Jubilee Office Block, stated that Madi West Nile Diocese is expected to raise one billion shillings during the Thanksgiving ceremony. We target to raise a minimum of one billion shillings only. Uh, as we, we talk now, I know we are uh, uh, 80 plus million uh, in, in both cars and pledges. Uh, uh, the last being from uh, our friends from Bishop's uh, Circle Group, uh, from Monigal's SS. I want to also take this opportunity to, to thank them officially for supporting this project mm -hmm. and uh, this is uh, an exemplary leadership uh, which you, all of us can copy. We target to receive about 2,000 guests, God willing. On behalf of the organizing committee, I humbly invite and appeal to fellow Christians of the diocese, friends from other religious denom denominations, God-loving people and ladies and gentlemen of all walks of life to join our beloved bishop in giving thanks to God and extend support to the construction of the Golden Jubilee Office Block. Moses Obeta, the project lead for the construction of the Diocesan Golden Jubilee Office Block and the chairman for the Aurora City Business Community, thanked Bishop Charles Collins and Daku for his contribution and sacrifice made towards the construction of the Golden Jubilee Office Block. Since the construction started, the funding has continuously come from the Christians and well-wishers and friends of the diocese and friends of the bishop. The bishop, as said earlier by the days, has given out all that he has for the construction of this office structure. Right from the Thanksgiving, from the third anniversary Thanksgiving, he gave all the remittances for the construction. That time we raised about 68 million. In the fourth anniversary Thanksgiving, we raised about 200 million. He handed over all this for the construction of the Golden Jubilee Office Block. And I want to appreciate and say thank you, Bishop. And I want to appreciate God 
for the love he has put in you for this diocese. The event is set to take place on Sunday the 7th of April 2024 with a church service that will be held in Arua Kaur PTC playground with the main preacher, the Bishop of the Nebi Anglican Diocese, Right Reverend Pons Ozele Awinju and the expected chief guest, the Speaker of the Parliament of Uganda, Right Honorable Annette Anita Among. Okumaringa Christine, for us now television, Nile Cast.